Hello, George from OneSite Solutions here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use an MGIP as a Modbus gateway. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about how to use these, so I'm going to show you just that. So first things first, you want to download this uh, ISMA configurator. Uh, this can be found um, on uh, the ISMA portal, so support.gc5.pl. Once you have that downloaded, we can then configure the MGIP via USB. So you want to open that up once it's downloaded, and then with a mini USB, you want to plug into the top of the MGIP. So once you plug that in, it will populate under USB. And then in here, we can then configure the RS-485 configuration and IP configuration. So board rate, we can set with the dip switches on top. So 1, 2, and 3 to the on position will give us the board rate we want, which is 115200. So once we switch it online, you will see that that's come up there. And then we'll set the user board rate to 115200 as well. And then click reload settings. IP configuration, you want this uh, on the same range as your controller that you're using. So our range would be 10.225.10 and then I'll give this uh, .53 and then the gateway okay and then reload settings again and just to double check that that's um, saved we want to go to the command prompt and ping the IP address to make sure it is on the network and as you can see we're now getting replies so that was a success. So from here you want to go to Niagara and then on the controller that you want to pull this MGIP onto you want to go to config drivers and then we want to add uh, Modbus TCP gateway so if we go to Modbus there it is there add one and then we'll name this MGIP Click OK. And now we need to go to the property sheet of that and then input its IP address, that being 10.225.10.53. Click Enter. OK. Now, from here, uh, any uh, IO along the RS485 bus um, goes under this MGIP. So if now we go to uh, Gateway Device Manager and then click new. I'm going to be adding a um, an ISMA 8U which is a, a device that has eight universal inputs and then on input one I just have a temperature sensor to show that I'm getting readings successfully off that through the MGIP. So I know its address is 11 and click OK. I know its Modbus device address is 3002 click OK and then to its points I can go new and then that temperature sensor is going to be a numeric point and then its Modbus address is 30072 click enter and then OK and there you can see I'm getting um, readings from that temperature sensor uh, I see I need to set a conversion as it's as it's out, so 0.1, okay, and it's 23.1 degrees. That's how you um, set up a MGIP, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helped. Um, see, see you again soon.